This is the most powerful AI animation tool that we have ever seen. And this tool is totally free and open source and you guys can even install this on your local computer. But I'm also gonna share how you guys can use this online and just to give you the idea, all of the animations that you're watching right now is all generated with this tool. And you can see how accurate and consistent these animations are. And honestly, I haven't seen any of the AI tool that can generate these kind of complicated animations. So first of all, let's see how does it actually work. So you give it a first frame of the animation as an input and then the last frame of the animation. And then the AI generates all of the middle frames for this animation. So if you're wondering, this is called Tone Crafter. And this is created by the Chinese University of Hong Kong and Tencent AI Labs. And we have already seen some of the AI tools from the Tencent Lab and they works really, really good. And these are some of the showcased examples from the Tone Crafter where you can see they give it a first frame and the last frame as an input and then we have a very cool animation of the stamp. And in the second example you can see we have a first frame and last frame and we have a really cool animation with the hairs movement and even the eye blinking is really really good. And here are a few more examples you can see the guy is holding a gem and the hand movement looks really really realistic and even the light flashing is really really good and here is one more complex example where you can see this cartoon is running away from the camera and the AI generated a really cool running animation with some of the smoke effects on the background well we have some issues with the feet but overall it looks really good and here is the example with the other competitive AI tools and you can see they are not even close to it and these are some of the more comparison videos and you can get the better idea how good this actually is. And it offers a one more method to create the complex animations. So in this example, you can see they give it a sketch animation and then they give it a colorized frame of the same animation. And now you can see how smooth this animation is. And these are a couple of more examples where they give it a sketch animation and the colorized frame. And you can see it created a complex animations very, very smoothly. And these are one of my most favorite examples where you can see this girl is uh, like screaming and they give it a sketch guidance animation and you can see the output is really, really good. And one more example of this guy wearing a leather glove and you guys can see how realistic it looks. It's really, really good. Now to access the CA tool, you have a couple of options. So the first method, that you can install this locally on your computer but if you don't have any high-end GPU but sometimes hugging face gives you some kind of error so you can also try this on a Google Colab and this is the Google Colab notebook from the Camen Duro but you need to have a pro subscription of a Google Colab so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a high-end GPU you can try this on a Google Colab but if you want to try this for free you can use this on a hugging face so here we have a very simple interface so first of all we need to upload the initial frame so I have some screenshots from the anime movies. So this is going to be my first frame and this will be the last frame. Now in the prompt section, you have to give it a very simple prompt like a uh, child excited for food. And next we have some of the advanced options where you can see the CFG skill. So if you lower the CFG skill to one or two, the AI will be more creative. This will not follow your input results, but if you keeps it all the way to the maximum. This will follow the input images very strictly, but to get the best animation, you should keep it around 7.5, which is the default. And then we have the sampling steps, which is default 50 and uh, the number of frames is 10. And I recommend you to use the default settings because you can see some of the animation that they have generated are all using the default setting. So let's hit generate and see what it comes up with. So here is the final animation. We have a very cool hand movement and even the facial expressions, but you can also notice some of the artifacts with the hands and also some weirdness going on with the faces because this is a very complex animation. So you can expect some of the imperfections. Okay, so here is the one more example where you guys can see this is the first frame and this is the last frame. And here is the prompt. Uh, this is just a simple prompt. And this is the output. <laughs> Look at that. How cool this animation is. How smooth you can see the facial expressions, the eye movement, and even the uh, conflicts or whatever it is. It's looking really, really good. So here is the one more example where you guys can see this is the first frame. And this is the last frame of getting the tomato. And this is the final animation. So as you can see, it looks really good overall. But you can see there is some kind of a weirdness going on. Uh, this is not as smooth as uh, real footage, but still it works really, really good. And I think this is much, much better than the previous uh, available AI tools like the Pika Labs and other AI tools. And I think they have no competition with this AI tool because this is working on a totally different uh, method. 
So right now this is one of its kind and this is really consistent and really good. So if you guys want to install this locally on your computer, you can watch this video because this guy explained each and everything in a detail because I think I'm not the right person to teach you how to install this because even I didn't try this uh, to install this on my computer. So that's it from today. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you guys like these kind of the researches and new AE tools, make sure to subscribe to the channel because a lot of content is coming up. And that's it from today. See you guys in the next one.